Hello everybody, I'm Eric with All In Media and today we're going to be taking a first look at the brand new LlamaSoft, the Jeff Mentor story from Digital Eclipse. This is the second entry in their so-called Gold Master series and if you're not familiar with Digital Eclipse in the previous couple of years they really have become kind of the gold standard for classic for retro game preservation. This game is following in line with their efforts on the Atari 50 collection with the first entry in the Gold Master series, the making of Karateka. These are essentially kind of interactive museums, interactive documentaries meant to preserve and celebrate the long history of this industry. And as you can see here, we can uh, immediately jump into kind of several chapters of the story of Llamasoft, which kind of as you can see there from the video on the left, uh, it gets uh, understandably pretty wild, pretty wild. But we'll just jump into chapter one here just to show you guys kind of what the game actually looks like. And this will take you down a, a very long road uh, and you can find out just about everything you could ever want to know about uh, these games, about uh, the history behind the people and the studios behind them. And one of the things that I am so consistently impressed with when it comes to Digital Eclipse's efforts are these photos and uh, documents and... Uh, artifacts and just all of these incredibly interesting things that they are able to find uh, when they're putting these games together. I mean, they really are interactive museums. And if you're a fan of, like a real fan of the history of video games, these are an absolute goldmine and a must play. And this is already looking like it is following very firmly in line with the quality of their previous uh, previous efforts, Atari 50 and the making of Karateka. However, in addition to having all of these uh, different, you know, vignettes and videos and photos and documents, I mean, we do actually still have games here. Well, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and jump into this one real quick. Oh, man. There we go. This is what I'm here for. Oh, wow. Okay. So, oh, I'm in a 3D maze. Oh, wow. Yeah, and many of the games uh, featured in these collections probably won't blow the minds of modern gamers but again just as pieces of video game history as a chronicle of where this industry has come from these are just so incredibly cool and i'm already lost i am a terrible navigator folks so i'm probably not going to be spending too much time in here oh but i got left where am i I am already lost, so <laughs> I don't want to run around this maze for too long, but uh, this is another game that, or one of the many games that you can jump into. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. Uh, back. Let's actually go to the game menu real quick. Hit the Y button there and you can just kind of see, I mean, yeah, look at that. Look at all of these different, you got Centipede, Deflex 5, Ratman. Just all of these titles which are fully playable within this game. What is that? Several dozen games? Like these are all playable. Matter of fact, there is one game that I absolutely want to... Uh, Attack of the Mutant Camels. There we go. <laughs> I want to check this one out. Whoa. This game actually uh, pretty heavily influenced. Um, actually, Jeff Minter straight up admitted that the game was pretty heavily influenced by uh, what is going on by uh, Return, or not Return of the Jedi, by uh, The Empire Strikes Back.
What? Just bouncing around here. Whoa! <laughs> you just pinball it all over the place here. Yeah, this is certainly not the easiest game to control. Wow. Alright, let's check out a different one. In addition to all of the classic game Mama Llama, uh, you're, you're getting an idea of why it's called Llama Soft now. There's a ton of llamas in these games and <laughs> Super Grid Runner. I specifically want to check out Super Grid Runner because there is a, a remastered, a remade version of this game uh, that they made explicitly and they made specifically for this release. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> wow. This is already pretty out of pocket. Oh, that's a bad thing. Okay, good. Got it. <laughs> Got you, scumbag. <laughs> wow. The imagery in this game is just already nuts. And I really love stuff like this. I love seeing the history of this industry and the incredibly unique and creative minds that got us to kind of where we are now. Especially when it comes to a lot of these games, a lot of these titles that have kind of been lost to history in many respects. I don't think there's too many people out there that are familiar with Jeff Minter, familiar with Llamasoft, or a lot of these kind of classic, very, very early video games. So it's it's amazing that people like Digital Eclipse are around to, to help kind of carry on the story. I mean, not just carry on the story, but... The, the way they preserve these things is, is just immaculate. And the fact that all of these different games are fully playable so you can truly appreciate how far we've come as an industry. It really is something special. And I give them all the credit in the world, Seth and Frost and everybody over at Digital Eclipse. So this is uh, Super Grid Runner. But I just wanted to show this game off very quickly before I jumped into its remastered version for just a moment. Grid Runner Remastered, yeah. Oh, dope. Oh, I am not going to last long in this game. I can already tell. You got bad guys from beneath me. You got bad guys to the side. I'm trying to shoot these centipede-like things. Oh, and I just got hit with something. I didn't even see where it came from. <laughs> this is so cool, though.
Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Man. You gonna come back up? Okay. There we go. Man. I feel like I would have lost so many quarters to this in the arcade. That was just a narrow dodge. Oh, right as I say that, of course. <laughs> right as I say that. These classic arcade games certainly do not lend themselves to long play sessions. Wow! I got sniped! At least they give you a few lives. <laughs> I'm missing that guy. <laughs> I missed him like five times in a row. Let me at least get to level three. Oh! <laughs> I will definitely have to check that one out again. But yeah, again, uh, there are just so many Revenge of the Mutant Camels for the Atari. There are just so many different titles to jump into and have fun with in these collections. And then, of course, in addition to that, you've got this really elaborate, very in-depth story on the entire history of this company and their impact and their influence in the video games industry. I mean, I've probably already said it a few times by this point, but Digital Eclipse really is unmatched in terms of uh, their treatment of video game history. They are doing the best collections by far in the industry. Uh, they've been the one behind uh, probably several of your favorite game collections from this past generation, in addition to, you know, Atari 50. Uh, they also did the uh, TMNT Cowabunga collection, the uh, uh, the, the uh, Samurai Showdown Neo Geo collection, and and many many other. But with the Atari Fifty uh, project, they really started to hit an amazing stride when it comes to these interactive documentaries. And again, if you are an appreciator of video game history, these really are kind of a must play. If you are somebody looking for something more modern, this is not going to be here. These games are not going to appeal to modern audiences. But if you are a gamer of a certain age, or if you have nostalgia for, uh, you know, these old, old, old video games from the early days of the industry, then the Gold Master series and the Atari 50 collection are, uh, again, you really need to own. All of these, I already cannot wait to see what Digital Eclipse has up their uh, sleeve for the next entry in the Gold Master series. But guys, that has been just a very, very quick look at Llamasoft, the Jeff Minter story from Digital Eclipse, entry number two into their Gold Master series. Uh, I already can't wait to to delve even deeper into this. The story of Jeff Minter and Llamasoft is so nuts that uh, I really can't wait to see all the incredible things that they have found to help flesh it out. But once again, guys, thank you all 
for watching. If you're a fan of old games, retro games, classic nostalgia games like these, do us a favor before you leave. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, click the bell for notifications so you never miss a video from us here at All In Media. Once again, my name is Eric. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.